Have you ever had the feeling that your life just isn't going the best lately? Well, I have some news for you. There is a high chance that you're finally becoming the best version of yourself. Keep watching to find out the unmistakable signs as individuals grow and change. It's common to feel disconnected from familiar social circles or activities. This sense of detachment can lead to feelings of isolation and discomfort. You might find yourself questioning where you fit in or feeling like you don't belong in certain situations anymore. It's like out G growing a favorite shirt that used to fit perfectly but now feels tight and constricting. This discomfort arises because you're evolving into a new version of yourself, one that may not align with your previous social dynamics. You may start noticing differences in interests, values, or priorities that set you apart from old friends or activities. It can be unsettling to realize that you're no longer content with the status quo and crave deeper connections or more meaningful experiences. Navigating this transition can be challenging as you grapple with feelings of uncertainty and vulnerability. You might second-guess your decisions or worry about being judged by others for changing the Discomfort stems from stepping into unknown territory and facing the uncertainty of where this evolution will lead you as you grow and evolve. It's natural to reassess your relationships. This process can lead to uncomfortable conversations or situations you might find yourself questioning whether certain relationships are still serving your growth or if they're holding you back. This internal conflict can create tension and uncertainty as you navigate the complexities of human connection. Challenging relationships arise when there's a mismatch between your personal growth journey and the dynamics of your relationship. I, you may realize that certain people in your life don't support your goals or share your values anymore. This disparity can lead to feelings of frustration or disappointment as you recognize the need for change. Confronting these challenges often requires courage and vulnerability. You may need to have difficult conversations with loved ones about your evolving needs and boundaries. This can be uncomfortable as you risk upsetting or disappointing others, but it's essential for maintaining authenticity and integrity in your relationships. In some cases, challenging relationships may lead to distance or even separation, this can be a painful process as you let go of connections that no longer serve your growth. However, it's important to prioritize your well-being and surround yourself with people who uplift and support you on your journey. As you embark on your journey of personal growth, you may encounter heightened emotional intensity. This means experiencing emotions more deeply and intensely than before. It can be overwhelming at times as you navigate through a range of feelings, such as joy, sadness, fear, and anger. This increased emotional intensity is a result of becoming more attuned to your emotions and learning to process them in healthier ways. You may find yourself more sensitive to the world around you, picking up on subtle cues and nuances that you once overlooked. This heightened Awareness can be both enlightening and challenging as you confront aspects of yourself and your experiences that you may have previously avoided. Managing this emotional intensity requires self-awareness and emotional regulation. You may need to develop coping strategies to navigate intense emotions without becoming overwhelmed. This could involve practices such as mindfulness, deep breathing, or seeking support from trusted friends or professionals while experiencing heightened emotional intensity can be uncomfortable. It's also a sign of growth and progress. It means you're becoming more in tune with your inner self and learning to embrace the full spectrum of human emotions. By allowing yourself to feel deeply and authentically, you open yourself up to richer more. Meaningful experiences and connections confronting and overcoming fears is an essential part of personal growth. It involves stepping out of your comfort zone and facing situations that evoke discomfort or anxiety. These fears can range from fear of failure and rejection to fear of the unknown or fear of change. Facing fears is uncomfortable because it requires you to confront the possibility of failure or rejection. It challenges your beliefs and pushes you to question your limitations. However, it's important to recognize that fear is a natural response to the unfamiliar and that it's okay to feel scared.
Overcoming fears involves taking gradual steps towards confronting them head on. This could involve breaking down your fears into smaller, more manageable tasks and gradually exposing yourself to them. It also requires cultivating resilience and perseverance, as you may encounter setbacks along the way. By facing your fears, you build confidence and resilience. You prove to yourself that you're capable of overcoming obstacles and achieving your goals. This sense of accomplishment fuels further growth and empowers you to tackle new challenges with courage and determination, engaging in new experiences. That challenge your abilities and push your bound boundaries is crucial for personal growth. Stepping out of your comfort zone means doing things that feel unfamiliar or uncomfortable. It's about embracing the unknown and pushing yourself to try new things, even if they scare you. Stepping out of your comfort zone is uncomfortable because it requires you to face uncertainty and risk failure. It challenges you to confront your fears and insecurities head on. However, it's important to remember that growth only happens when you're willing to push past your limits and embrace discomfort by stepping out of your comfort zone. You expand your horizons and discover new aspects of yourself. You develop resilience and adaptability as you navigate unfamiliar territory. Each time you step outside your comfort zone, you become more confident in your abilities and more open to new opportunities. It's important to approach stepping out of your comfort zone with an open mind and a willingness to learn. Be patient with yourself and allow yourself to make mistakes along the way. Remember that growth is a process, and it's okay to progress at your own pace. Setting boundaries and prioritizing your own needs is a essential for maintaining balance and preventing burnout learning to say no means recognizing when you need to decline requests or opportunities that don't align with your priorities or values. It's about honoring your time and energy and refusing to overcommit yourself. Learning to say no can be uncomfortable because it requires you to confront the fear of disappointing others or being perceived as selfish. However, it's important to remember that saying no is not a sign of weakness, but rather a sign of self-respect and self-care. By learning to say no, you create space for the things that truly matter to you. You avoid spreading yourself too thin and ensure that you're able to devote time and energy to the things that align with your goals and values. Saying no also allows you to maintain healthy boundaries in your relationships and avoid resentment or burnout. It's important to communicate your boundaries assertively and respectfully. Be clear and direct when declining requests, and avoid over-explaining or apologizing excessively. Remember that it's okay to prioritize your own needs and well-being, even if it means disappointing others temporarily, recognizing yourself self-worth independently of external. Validation is a crucial aspect of personal growth. It involves shifting from seeking approval and validation from others to cultivating self-assurance and confidence from within. When you no longer seek validation, you base your choices and actions on your own beliefs and values rather than seeking approval from others. This transition can be uncomfortable because it requires you to let go of the need for external validation and trust in your own judgment. It means facing the fear of rejection or criticism and learning to trust yourself to make decisions that align with your authentic self. When you no longer seek validation, you free yourself from the constraints of others' opinions and expectations. You become more self-reliant and empowered to pursue your own path, regardless of others' approval or disapproval. This newfound sense of autonomy allows you to live authentically and make choices that resonate with your true self. Shifting from seeking validation to self-assurance also means embracing vulnerability and embracing imperfection. It means accepting that you are worthy and lovable just as you are regardless of EX internal validation. By cultivating self-compassion and self-acceptance, you build a solid foundation of Self-worth that cannot be shaken by others, opinions, or judgments. Recognizing the strength in seeking support and guidance from others is a sign of maturity and self-awareness.
It involves acknowledging that you don't have to navigate life's challenges alone and that it's okay to reach out for assistance when needed. When you're not afraid to ask for help, you demonstrate humility and a willingness to learn from. Others, this shift can be uncomfortable because it requires vulnerability and a willingness to admit that you don't have all the answers. It means overcoming the fear of judgment or rejection and trusting that asking for help is a sign of strength rather than weakness. When you're not afraid to ask for help, you open yourself up to new perspectives and solutions that you may not have considered on your own. You also deepen your connections with others by fostering a sense of trust and mutual support. Asking for help strengthens relationships and creates a sense of community as you collaborate with others to overcome challenges. It's important to remember that asking for help is not a sign of incompetence, but rather a recognition of your limitations and a desire to grow by seeking support from others. You show respect for their expertise and perspective and you create opportunities for mutual learning and growth. Trusting the universe and allowing events to unfold without interference can be uncomfortable, but it is a crucial step towards personal growth and inner peace. Letting go of control means releasing the grip of expectation and surrendering to the flow of life. It involves recognizing that not everything is within your power to change or manipulate this process can be uncomfortable because it challenges your sense of security and certainty. It requires you to relinquish the illusion of control and embrace, embrace the unknown. However, by letting go of the need to control every outcome you open yourself up to, new possibilities and experiences, letting go of control doesn't mean being passive or complacent. It means being proactive while also accepting that there are certain things beyond your control. It's about focusing your energy on what you can influence and trusting that things will unfold as they are meant to. When you let go of control, you release yourself from the burden of trying to micromanage every aspect of your life. You free yourself from stress and anxiety, allowing for greater peace of mind and emotional well-being by surrendering to the flow of life. You cultivate resilience and adaptability enabling you to navigate challenges with grace and ease, if you're still watching. I'd like to thank you for your attention. If you enjoyed the content and want to see more, please consider clicking the subscribe button. Your support is very appreciated. Feel free to share your experiences or thoughts in the comments below. Until next time, take care and subscribe for more insightful content.